Okay, Callie, when did you start eating healthy? I started eating healthy about last June. I had always considered myself to be a healthy eater, but last year I started to have a ton of health problems and my body was just freaking out on me and I had no idea what was going on. And what I learned was that my stomach does not like a lot of food. So I had to go and change my whole entire way of eating to eat more healthy so my body would be happy with me. Today I want to share the story of a person named Victor. Victor came into my life about two falls ago. Victor is the name of my stomach. For a period of months at a time, Victor was the controlling, demanding, manipulative girlfriend that set everything I was allowed to do, how often I would do it, and who I would do it with. He was a psychopath. My name is Scarlett, and I'm from Juneau, Alaska. Scarlett, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is grapefruit. Grapefruit. Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be a healthy eater? I think so, to the best of my abilities. Um, my name is Tatiana French, and I'm from Northern California. Tatiana, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, I'd have to say, is sushi. Um, do you consider yourself to be a healthy eater? Yes, I'd like to think so. I come from a family that plans all their activities around food. Apples would make my throat close off. Carrots caused me to projectile vomit without warning. Dairy would turn me into a dog, foaming at the mouth. And in addition, prime rib left me lying on the floor in the fetal position on Christmas dinner. These phrases are often repeated through the walls of my home. What smells? Callie, is your stomach acting up again? Don't run up wind from Callie. She oozes. I found myself living in a home where the things that we love, as well as the things that brought us together as a unit, were taken away from me. I've turned into the girl who attends parties and acts like she isn't hungry. So the whole world doesn't have to know the mood Victor is currently in. Can you eat out? And if you can, where do you eat? Okay, so eating out is a challenge. When I eat out, I always have to double check and ask and be the obnoxious customer. And be like, do you have a gluten-free menu? Because I need a gluten-free menu. And I get a gluten-free menu and I order food off of that. What steps do you take to find healthy food? Um, well, when I'm grocery shopping, I usually look for foods, fresh foods, first of all, mainly fruits and vegetables. And then, other things I buy are less processed foods, meaning, well, I just try to know what's in them and what went, what they went through to be made, because a lot of times that's where you get the unhealthiest food. I eat healthy because of the positive effects that it has on my body when I do. In the beginning, it started out because I have some recent food allergies that have come into my life and I really needed to figure out a way to still enjoy what I'm eating without my body feeling sick and ill. So that's why it started and then I noticed that as I continued to eat healthy, it had these really amazing effects on my body. I had more energy and I could go faster for longer. It was just more of a, it was a better way of living and I really enjoy it. I can't eat gluten. I can't eat yeast, no red meat, no sugar, no citrus, no dairy products, no artificial sweeteners, no caffeine, no alcohol, no carbonation, oh, and like no apples or peas or carrots. Do you find it difficult to find healthy food options in grocery stores? Um, I think it's something you have to learn, but once you've learned, I think it's pretty easy to find healthy things almost anywhere. These are a couple things that I and Victor agree upon. We like granola. We like almond milk. We like Czech cereal. We like rice. We like lots and lots of rice. We like noodles. We basically like any food that doesn't come from America. We like Mexican food. 
We like Thai food. We love Indian food. We love sushi. Um, yeah. And we like coconut milk ice cream. So delicious. And um, watermelon. Watermelon. We can eat watermelon every single day. What alternative choices are there to um, find healthy foods besides the grocery store? Um, one big place that I grocery shop is actually where I work at Good Earth Natural Foods. I love it there. What does it have to offer to people who want to eat healthy? It has a very wide variety of choices. It has really healthy bread. It has healthy snack options. Um, it has organic fruits and vegetables. It just it has vitamins and supplements and things that you can put into your body instead of putting junk and processed food. My eating restrictions have made my social life interesting. Where are we going to eat? I'm a cool girl. Victor's just freaking crazy. Oh crap. There's something in this salad I can't eat. You can go to the bathroom. It's like you're three again and you can't hold it. You go back to the table and you try not to feel awkward that you just sort of exploded in the bathroom. It might sound really silly, but everything is different. I just feel better. I just feel... So, eating healthy has changed my life, and it'll probably change my life forever. But basically, you just need to listen to your own body and see what it needs and, base it and give it to it. Otherwise, you will go through life being uncomfortable and pain and not being able to live life to the fullest.